think that you can brace yourself or put your seatbelt on if you notice that you're going to be in an accident. And I don't know of anybody who, at least I don't think I know of anybody who goes, oh, they're going to hit me. One second. We don't have that time. Once you notice, hey, they're going to hit me, you're hit. You don't have time to put your seatbelt on just in case you didn't wear it that day. It's just not going to happen. Now, you may say, I'm a safe driver, and I wear, even if I wear my seatbelt, I'm going to be okay. However, people multitask. It's our generation. People want to do 50 things at once. You can look over in the next car, and someone's talking on their cell phone playing their iPod, go messing with the radio. And now with you know new technology, we have TVs in there. Little kids are playing little video games and stuff. I mean, we have just so much stuff going on in these cars that people are not paying attention. Now, whether you're paying attention and you're being a safe driver and being a defensive driver, that does not mean that other people are. So you need to protect yourself and wear your seatbelt because others may be distracted and could possibly cause an accident. Now, also on Michigan roads, we live in Michigan, it rains, it's snowing, you wake up, you have no idea what the weather's going to be, which is exactly why you also need to wear your seatbelt because the weather conditions are so bad. Now, it is a law that you have to wear your seatbelt in Michigan, which I think is a very good law, <coughs> but you need to wear your seatbelt because those road conditions, I mean, how many of us have been on the road and it's so icy that, you know, we're slipping and sliding around? You know, that it's going to happen. It's going to happen because you live in Michigan. So if you wear your seatbelt and you're sliding around, at least you're secure. You know, and if you hit a railing, you're not going to be flying out of the car. So some of you also think that when you take short trips, you don't have to wear your seatbelt. Oh, I'm in Olivet. I'm just driving 30 down Main Street with one blinking yellow light. I don't need my seatbelt. But the fact is, people who get into accidents, these mostly occur in familiar areas or areas that have a low speed limit. For instance, my dad, I think it was like two summers ago, he was driving down Main Street and he was just cruising, going like 45. There was right out on this intersection towards BP, well, we live right past the football field so that he was going home but some car flew out and hit this, his car, the front of his car. He was going 40 miles an hour, wasn't wearing his seatbelt, but he thought he was okay because he lives around here, he's comfortable driving around here, he feels safe, but that's where the accidents occur. The Motor Vehicle Association says that most accidents occur in local ro on local roads just because we're more comfortable with it. But that's where it happens, and that's why it's most important to wear your seatbelt every time. Others, other people fear of being trapped in a car during an accident, like if it's on fire, and they feel like if they wear their seatbelt, they're going to be submerged and trapped in, in case of an accident, and that's why they say that they don't want to wear it. However, in these type of accidents, only 0.5% of accidents are these big collisions and fire and so it doesn't really make sense to me not <clears throat> to wear your seatbelt because oh I might get into a crash and it might explode and I need to get out. Well in those type of accidents your seatbelt will actually save you because your car is probably flipping around catching on fire and your seatbelt is going to hold you in there and keep you conscious and alive and therefore you can get out of that situation rather than dying and burning automatically. <clears throat> Another thing that people say is they don't wear seatbelts because they're uncomfortable. Now I hate it when I'm in the car and I'm, I have my seatbelt up on my neck and it's rubbing and it's all over me and holding me back. But the thing is there are adjusters on every car almost now. I don't know about older cars, but you know the little console right here where you can tuck the seatbelt in? That backs it away and keeps it from rubbing on your neck so it's more comfortable. But when people say that 
seatbelts are uncomfortable, I kind of want to ask them, would you choose a seatbelt or a wheelchair? So, I urge you to fasten your seatbelts every time you ride in a car. Some of you say that you might forget or you don't really want to because you're only driving 30 miles. But forgetting that one time could cause an injury to yourself and you could possibly get killed in an accident. So please buckle up. It only takes a few seconds and if you don't, you might regret it someday when you're in a wheelchair or you might not have a chance to regret it. Thank you.